All right, what's going on, you guys? Brian here, and this is my AEW Dark and Impact Wrestling Quick Recap for tonight's episodes. Uh, starting off with AEW Dark, um, we had Hikaru Shida defeating Danny Jordan. QT Marshall defeated Clutch Adams. Marco Stunt defeated Jason Cade. Jimmy Havoc and Kip Sabian, they defeated Lee Johnson and Musa in a tag team match. Ray Phoenix of the Lucha Brothers, or the Lucha Bros, defeated Sean Dean in what I thought was a really good match. The ever-so-dangerous Luther defeated John Cruz. Private Party defeated Ryan Rembrandt and Mike Reed. Alan Angels defeated or lost to Sammy Guevara and in the main event it was Darby Allen defeating Serpentico uh, pretty good episode of the AEW Dark I have not watched it for a couple of weeks but um, I thought I would check it out and I thought it was pretty good I really enjoyed the match between Phoenix and um, Sean Dean I thought that was really good um, of course, all the super wrestlers on AEW on this on this week's episodes of Dark and AEW Dynamite, which happens tomorrow, looking to make a statement heading into this Saturday's Double or Nothing event that's going to be live on pay-per-view. So um, it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow night on Dynamite heading into that event this Saturday. Now we move on to our to the Impact Wrestling recap. Uh, on tonight's episode, we saw the final two first round matches in the number one contenders tournament. The winner of this tournament will receive a Impact Wrestling World Title match against Tessa Blanchard somewhere down the line. In the opening match, it was Ace Austin, or I should say, the opening match of this episode. Ace Austin defeated Rhino. Uh, to advance in the tournament, he will now face Hernandez, uh, who advanced with a win over Madman Fulton. We had a Moose interview. Uh, Moose, the self-proclaimed TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, we heard from Ace Austin uh, during the break, or in, an interv in a promo that happened during the break, uh, during the commercial break, uh, where he talked about it winning the Impact World Championship, and that when he wins it, he'll be the youngest Impact World Champion ever. We had a Kira Hogan, Tasha Steele's backstage promo where Kira Hogan offered Tasha to take her under her wing, and Tasha accepted, so that looks like that's, gonna, that's a new partnership for him there. Crazy Steve defeated Dave Christ of OVE. Uh, Joseph P. Ryan uh, came out on the, on the ramp and was like writing something down on a notepad. After the match, uh, Madman Fulton uh, wound up quitting OVE after going after both Dave and Jay Christ and basically telling them that he quits OVE. We had a Madman Fulton promo that really was not much. Uh, they asked him about uh, quitting OVE, and he had no response and walked away. Uh, we had a Rosemary and Johnny Bravo promo or segment. We had, uh, it was the team of TJP and Fala Bob picking up a big tag team victory over Triple XL. The team of AC Romero and Larry D. Uh, the self -pro speaking of the self-proclaimed TNA World Champion, Moose successfully defended his championship in a rematch from last week against Suicide. Using some underhanded tactics, mind you, when Suicide was hitting a splash off the top rope, Moose countered and wound rolled up. Uh, suicide and wound up pulling the trunks to keep the championship. Uh, I like this dynamic of 
them bringing back the TNA World Championship or having Moose and putting it on Moose, that could set up a unification match where, you know, whoever the Impact Wrestling World Champion is, is going to take offense to Moose walking around saying he's the only um, real world champion around Impact Wrestling. Uh, we heard from Michael Elgin ahead of his tournament match against Sammy Callahan. Uh, there was a Chris Bay and Johnny Swinger uh, backstage segment where Chris Bay kind of like tried to hype up Johnny Swinger ahead of his X Division Championship match against the champion Willie Mack. Um, Speaking of that, Willie Mack successfully defended the X Division title against Johnny Swinger. Uh, one part of the match, Swinger thought he, he won the match and was celebrating. He had the championship. He was going to use the championship when the referee told him he didn't win. He was going to use the championship, and that allowed Willie Mack to hit a Samoan drop and then kip up and then hit a standing moonsault on Swinger to pick up the win. Afterwards, Swinger attacked Willie. Then Chris Bay came out and they started stop started putting a beat down on Willie Mack and forming a new tag team or forming a new team between Chris Bay and Johnny Swinger. So either that or Chris Bay is telling is saying to Willie Mack that I want the X Division Championship. Um, so we heard from the Impact World Tag Team Champions, the North, who cut a promo at a warehouse or uh, somewhere in Canada. Uh, they would be interrupted by, um, I forget the referee's name. He's in a wheelchair. He has no, he has, he doesn't have leg. he has no legs. Um, I forget what his name is. Um, I'm sorry, guys, if I if I messed up on that, but I really forgot what his name was. Uh, he would interrupt. Then Cody Deaner would make a challenge to the North, and he said he was going to bring a he was him. It was going to be him and a tag team partner by the name of Wheels against the North for the tag team championships at the Deaner Family Compound. The North thought it was the referee in the wheelchair that's called Wheels. And they laughed and they were like, okay, we'll see you next week. And Cody Cody Diener basically told that referee, you're not, you're not Wheels. And we'll see about that next week because you're going to be the referee for the match. So interesting. it's going to be interesting to see who Cody Diener is bringing as his tag team partner next week. And in the main event, it was Michael Elgin defeating Sammy Callahan to advance in the uh, in the ter number one contenders tournament. He will now face Trey, who advanced to the semis, defeating Rohit Raju. So the semifinals are set for next week. It's going to be Trey versus Michael Elgin, and it's going to be I should say the semifinals are set. Uh, it'll be Trey versus Michael Elgin. And Ace Austin versus Hernandez, two really, uh, really important matchups to see who moves on in the number one contenders tournament. Um, overall, I thought this episode of Impact was was okay. Um, a lot of interesting things happening in Impact Wrestling right now. A lot of you know different ways they can go with different storylines to see. You know where they go with 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 different things that have been going on. So, with that being said, this has been my AEW Dark and Impact Wrestling recaps. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching. <laughs>